it's a more personal instrument than say the guitar or something in my opinion. You could hear 50 banjo players if they play old time overhand banjo and the odds are even if they're trying to sound the same there's going to be something different about it. So to hear someone who's really honed their craft sit down and play a beautiful song on the banjo is uh, you know I can't think of anything that makes me happier when I actually hear it. I feel like in a way the banjo's about drove me crazy, you know, just there's all these tunings and these old songs and there's no right way to do it, but there is a wrong way to do it. Makes me feel closer to all the people who've lived here throughout the ages, especially if you're playing traditional music from your area, because I know that several people, like my great-grandfather, was a solo banjo player. Well, they say that love, it's a pleasure, boys, but no pleasures do I see. Cause a girl. Uh, Eastern Kentucky banjo is a, a little more bluesy than banjo in a lot of other places, and that's because of, you know, it, intermingling between, you know, white farmers and black railroad workers and things like that a long time ago. So it's, you know, it's, uh, it has a, every, a lot of factors have affected and made it just a little more special than a lot of old time styles everywhere else. And fell into the county jail And I said it's worse That I ever did here It's when my true love wouldn't go my bed All of the songs I'm playing are, are old songs and they were uh, traditionally passed down orally. Like there was, you didn't go and take lessons. You didn't, you know, you didn't, you know, find them in a book or learn them from a record. It would be just these songs that have, people have always played and they've passed them down. And I think, in a way, that, that's one of my favorite things about the music, because if you get right down to it, there's no way that that's a bad song or it wouldn't have survived so long. In my pockets now. I take a lot of pride in playing the banjo, actually. It's, uh, you know, there's not a lot of banjo players. Like around here, there's quite a few, but once you get out of here, you know, there's not a lot of people playing the banjo, and if they are, they're not, they're not playing it like they're from Kentucky. A lot of it is, to me, it's, I'm proud of where I'm from, and here's a tradition that's dying, and I'm more than happy to try to carry it on. All from my side. I wasn't crazy about the banjo when I was way younger because a lot of this I didn't hear you know I didn't hear the music from around here I really didn't have any clue about old-time music all I've associated the banjo with would be like hee-haw or green acres or something so as a kid I didn't think that was too cool but I guess as I got older I felt a desire to get more in touch with you know where I come from and where my family comes from, you know, where mountain people. I guess I kind of identified that with the banjo. It might have made me feel like I was home when I wasn't. It is me. It is, you know, we're, I'm lucky enough to be from one of the best places in the world, and I think one of the only true cultures left in America. And tomorrow will be the end of me.